boundaries in the Philippines. People generally do not respect people's boundaries relating to property. Also ownership. And the reason I bring this up is because I know some people get frustrated. Um, like I said before, I've had a welding machine somebody destroyed by dropping it off a roof. They will never repair it. They're no interest in They couldn't care less because they don't own it. And that's often the mental attitude of some of these people that it's not mine. Who cares? And the same goes within families. You'll get this within with people. Someone will not care even though it's a relative of theirs because it's not theirs personally. Couldn't give a damn. It gets broken. Also, you'll get people park on your land, etc., because they do not respect the fact that that land is owned by somebody else. It's a little bit strange from a Western culture because obviously we generally keep to our what is ours. But in the Philippines, you'll get people walk through your garden and stuff because it's always been like that and they don't understand what you're all talking about. Um, in the same way, you'll get them steal your, your mangoes or whatever now and again. Although often it's kids that do that these days. Um, I'm not too fussed when people rob them. It's just the fact they leave nothing. They, they're like bloody termites. They go through the whole lot as quick as possible. Um, if you've got things like mobile phone chargers, you'll find some people will borrow it. You know, normally in the house. But instead of going, Matt, can I borrow your mobile phone charger? You're looking for it. And then you find they've took it home. It's not even in your house. They've took it to another house. And said, oh, yeah, my phone was flat, but my charger's broke. Yeah, now I've got no charger. Yeah, that one's my. Yeah, but I was bringing it back later. Yes, but I didn't even know where it was. So those little things really niggle at you <laughs> because you're like, what are you doing? Same when people borrow tools and stuff. I have stopped people borrowing anything of mine these days. Um, somebody was stupid enough to say, why do I lock my motorbike in my office? It's because people tinker with stuff because we have a carport we don't have a garage as such the the fact is the car uh, the motorbike is exposed to people that are messing around with stuff um it's just the way people are i don't know why they do it i don't know what the obsession is but people will mess around with your fuel line switching it on and off etc what can you say all right thanks for watching